smash the GoPro. Look at that thing is toast. Doesn't turn on. What is up guys? Welcome back to a new episode from Backyard Boys. If you guys are new to this channel, please don't forget to subscribe and don't forget to smash that thumbs up button because in this episode, we are going to be revealing a brand new build. It is not brand new, unfortunately, but it is brand new for the channel. So there are three reasons why I bought this car and the reasons are one, I really, really miss my old one. Two, I regret everything about selling my old one. And three, it is the best sounding V8 BMW out there. So in this episode, we're gonna show you guys the damage and the condition of it and how it looks like right now. I'll show you guys a couple sound clips and a couple burnouts. Of course, we can't go without that. I love me some smoke. But anyways, on delivery, I was not there. So I had my buddy out there taking a video for you guys. He got some good footage. So we're gonna roll that right here. And while he was out, he pulled the rear bumper off so we can inspect more damage, which just came right off pull the exhaust off so you're gonna hear some sound clips without the exhaust man this thing sounds wild let's go check it out Alrighty guys, well man do I miss my old one. Look at this thing, this is a 2011 facelift obviously because it's got the updated rod bearings and it is a 2011 E92 BMW M3. As you guys can tell, it is in really, really good shape. Take a look at those headlight condition. The front bumper has absolutely no rock chips besides this right over here, but that's not something we can't fix and that looks like that was from the truck driver honestly because this happens pretty often from the truck driver but we're going to repair that front bumper obviously because we like our cars extremely extremely mint with no damage at all and while we're at it we're probably going to go ahead and mold these in because i don't like that yellow or orange whatsoever let's check out these wheels personally these are not my style of wheels i don't really like these wheels on my old one i had some apex arc eights and they looked very very good but the tires on this thing are nice and they're really good tread. Seems like we can do some good burnouts in the last long chiching. So walking around this way, we see this guy has some carbon fiber mirror caps, but they're not in the best shape. Looks like a little faded. Has a carbon fiber roof. Take a look at that. That is beautiful. It does need a little cleanup, but that is beautiful. And the best part about this, what? I don't know about you, but I love my manual E92s. And now we get to the damaged area. Take a look at that. Yeah, that quarter panel is buckled pretty tough. As you guys can see, there's a funny spot right over here and it is pretty high. Look at that. That bulges out nice and high. Seems like the quarter panel dropped down 
far bit because this gap is looking decent. I mean, it can go down obviously a little bit, but the quarter panel seems like it dropped like three quarters of an inch right over there, if not more. But that is the rear end. And here's the main, main damage right here. And I'm guessing it hit this frame rail either down. And that's the whole reason that this quarter panel kind of droops. As you guys can tell, we got a nice, beautiful kink right over here. And at this point right now, I don't know if I want to fix this quarter panel or replace it. Honestly, guys, comment down below. Let me know because first things first, we're going to take it on the frame machine and pull it out and see how the quarter panel wants to move and see if it gets into its original position because I can't tell right now how good this will pull out. We can only tell once we get it on the frame machine. And you guys know that I already got my frame machine set up, so we are ready to start pulling and start attacking this project over here. Those are the LCI taillights. That is the facelift model. And look at that tire tread. Oh my goodness. Seems like we can do some long, long, long burnouts. As you guys can tell over here, this rear reinforcement bar is cracked. It is carbon fiber composite, it looks like, or yeah, some kind of carbon fiber weave. But we head over here and we see that this rear body panel is actually damaged as well and it's damaged pretty darn good. Take a look at that. We removed the exhaust like I told you before. See, exhaust is missing. Where is that exhaust hole? All the way up there somewhere. But yeah, exhaust is missing and this thing sounds like a beast. Stay tuned and I'll show you guys some sound clips of this thing because I did get a new mic and it should sound absolutely gorgeous. Let's move on to the interior. Interior is black, fully black interior. It's got that carbon fiber trim, which is the competition package I'm guessing. It looks perfect, it is so beautiful. It's a little dusty right now, but a little bit of elbow grease will make this thing look spotless. That's the seats, black on white. What a beautiful combo. And, it's got 50,000 miles, I think, which is relatively not bad for a car this year. It's got right there. Come on. There it is. It's got 50,000 miles, which is relatively not bad for a car like this. Let's open the hood and see what we got under here. If you guys saw the previous clip, we already pressure washed this engine bay because it was really, really dusty. But dang, look at that. Look how clean it looks now. Oh my goodness, this thing looks brand new. Take a look at all of that. Look at that fat V8. Oh my goodness, that thing is gorgeous. Honestly guys, if you guys have never tried out a S65 motor, this is literally my favorite sounding motor. I freaking love it. Alrighty guys, well, that is the new build so far. And right now I'm gonna roll some beauty shots because I wanna show you guys a little montage I put together for this thing. It is so, so sick. I am very, very excited to get this thing on its road and get some new wheels for this thing because I don't really like these, honestly, man. And these are 18s. I like 19s on my BMWs. They just fit the car much, much better. So let's roll that montage and then let's do some burnouts and get this thing down to the frame machine.
All right, guys. Well, now that you guys saw the M3, it is looking beautiful. As you guys can tell, you guys saw the damage. Honestly, it's not that bad. I'm not sure if we're going to do a quarter swap or pull it out and mud it. We'll see when we get it on the frame machine and start pulling it. Right now, we got to go to a frame machine. And I got my GoPro strapped up right over there. That way, you guys get a little point of view type of driving. And on the way to the frame machine, let's get a burnout in. Let's go. guys well now it's time to do the burnout i got my gopro mounted right there as you guys can tell so we got a two-point view let's do it That is it. Let's go to the frame machine. A few moments later. GoPro fell. Oh, what a rookie mistake. Grab this. I'll grab this. And this. Oh my goodness. Look at that. Woo, that was a far run. All right, guys. Woo, that was a long run. Look at that. All the way back there. Can't really tell. But anyways, so I was recording and the GoPro fell off my car. Smashed the GoPro. Look at that. Thing is toast. Doesn't turn on. But I'm pretty sure I got the footage. So I'm super excited. Let's keep going. Minor interruption. episode on the m3 as you guys can tell we got the m3 
on the frame machine already and it's ready to start pulling. Also, you guys can probably tell that we got some lights hung up and whatnot. We got the blue tarp to cover the windows and we still have a couple more lights to hang up, but we're gonna do that very, very soon and start working on this. So if you guys are new to this channel, smash that subscribe button right over here and don't forget to turn on your post notifications. RIP to my GoPro, but I'm very, very happy I got the footage from that. And if you guys want any insights of any of my builds, follow my Instagram right over here and I'll catch you guys on the next one. Peace out.